So capoeira, it's a, it's an Afro-Brazilian martial art. It uh, dates back about 500 years. It's a combination of dance, uh, martial arts, acrobatics, music, and a big community interaction, actually. Okay. I've been studying and training capoeira for over 20 years. Um, the instrument is called the birimbau, and the birimbau is really the heart and the soul of capoeira. It's really the true guru, the true master, actually. The music dictates the way the capoeira game is going to go. Okay. And if you go back a few hundred years when slavery was a big thing in Brazil, hmm. I mean, before they abolished it, right. um, the, the birimbau was a, a tool of communication. So people were on the streets playing capoeira. And then they would see some police officers, or they would see something, and they would change the rhythm to, in order to communicate to the people, the capoeirista, what was happening. Mr. Ranjit, he, he found me, and he found my music actually on the internet, and I uh, really liked the music. So he sent me an email, he said, I'm working on a, you know, he said, I'm working on a project. He sent me a synopsis, let's Skype. Uh, I was curious. And so after we met uh, via Skype, and uh, they explain the situation. I, I really love the character. It's almost like uh, the character was written for me. So there's a few movies that, that feature Capoeira, but I believe that this is going to be the first uh, Tamil movie that has Capoeira, not only the movements, but also the music. And, and we use it as a primary uh, tool in the film. For me, it's about movement. So when I see uh, the incredible movements of like Kaori Paret, for example, uh, I'm very inspired, you know. And uh, the more, I think for anybody, the more uh, complex ways they can move, that's like you move better, you can think better, you feel better. And so there's a huge benefit to even just a lay person, you know, to do some capoeira, to do some martial arts.